Hey everyone, Greeno here, and today on Greeno Eats, I am in the pretty market town of Blandford Forum in the middle of Dorset. I've come here to pick up another magic bag, and you can guess where I'm getting it from. It's my first supermarket bag. Let's go and see what I got for me. Right folks, I've got the magic bag, here it is. It's a fairly weighty number, and all of this for three pounds and nine pence. Let's get it home and see what we got. Okay then folks, I've made it home, back in the dining room. You'll recognize the wallpaper. What have we got in this magic bag then? So like I said, this has got, it's got a bit of weight to it. So let's see what we've got in here. So first out, four triple chocolate muffins. There we go, all the lights reflected on there a little bit, but yeah, I think that's something that the kids will probably enjoy. I think it's today's date on them, but they'll be all right until tomorrow, I'm sure. Next out, well, this, is, this is a bit like a Greg's bag, this one, isn't it? Two apple and custard lattices. So they're little, like Danish pastry kind of things. You can see there with apple and custard filling in there. Right, what's next, folks? We reach in, we pull out a white bloomer loaf, a small one, 400 grams, priced at 99p in the shop. I should point out, I paid three pounds and nine pence for this bag. It's supposed to be at least 10 pounds worth of product. I don't know how much those muffins are. The lattice is a 169. I guess the muffins have got to be about 150-ish, so we're probably about four pounds worth of stuff so far. We have a Morrison's white medium sliced loaf, just a bog standard loaf of bread. What else have we got? A bit of a battered looking <laughs> iceberg lettuce that was already in the yellow sticker section there. Turn it up the right way. You can see that. So I'm sure if you take the outer leaves off of that, that will be good for a couple of days. We have a white cabbage. <laughs> so if I decide to make some slaw or something, I know we've got a spicy chicken wrap thing coming up day after tomorrow maybe. So maybe I can use it for that. And we have a box of grapes. Some red grapes there, again from the yellow sticker section. So ones they were looking to, to move on anyway. And what else is in here? Couple of little apples. In fact, three apples. <laughs> they look like little Granny Smiths or something. We have got two pears. One orange. And last but by no means least, a solitary white onion. Bit of a mixed bag, really. So, what do I make of all that? Well, it's not exactly what I was expecting. Uh, I expected a few more kind of yellow sticker items in there probably, maybe some proteiny kind of things, uh, some chicken pork, that sort of thing, or some ready meals. It's quite nice to have some fresh items. These seem to be in really good condition, so I'm not quite sure. I mean, these pears are still quite firm, so they're not even ripe. So the fruit there and the onion, they look in really good condition. The lettuce is a little bit sorry for itself. I think the white cabbage is fine. And if we don't eat all of that, we have guinea pigs, so they'll have it. Nice little treat there. The grapes look okay. Bread, cakes, you know, it's just some staple kind of things, isn't it, really? Is this something I would pick if, if I had £10 to spend in a supermarket? Probably not. But I don't think for £3, it's too bad. Maybe I'll give them another try and see if we get a different result next time. Right, so that's it from me for today. Nice little trip out to Blanford. Nice little trip to Morrison's. 
not the best bag in the world, but I think it's okay for what it is. I'm sure most of it will get eaten over the next couple of days, so it is what it is. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget, click that little thumbs up button. It really does help with the channel. And if you're not yet subscribed, why not consider hitting that subscribe button and dinging your little bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the content as it comes up on the channel. Anyway, that's it from me. Off to make myself a sandwich, I think. <laughs> not that I've got anything to put in it, but, you know, apple sandwich. <laughs> anyway, that's it from me. Greeno's over and out. I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.